good evening everyone good evening good evening little louder please can you hear me sir yeah okay, sir. i hope you all are doing well and staying safe in this uh, quarantine period uh, due to this covid situation we are not uh, able to meet in person so hence uh, this uh, online initiative from our side uh, and uh, i welcome you all to the online interactive session for kerala prospects and architecture Uh, I'm architect Radhika, and uh, today we have with us our panel members: uh, architect Lokna Dasar, Dean of CSOA, and uh, architect Pradhan Dasar, uh, HOD of CSOA. Uh, I welcome you both, sir. Uh, and also uh, joining with us today is our uh, guest speaker, architect Parishit Rajan Sir, uh, who is a landscape architect, and uh, he has been involved in design practice and academia field for the past 25 years. Uh, he was born and brought up in Chennai. He is from Delhi Tech University, Hubli, and Masters of Architecture in School of Architecture and Planning, Delhi. Uh, he also pursued a course in IHS from Erasmus University uh, in Notre Dame, Netherlands. After a long-standing professional association with Oro Service Oroville in Pondicherry, uh, he established his own practice under the style EcoTone in the year 2000. While also doing parallel academic activities as a uh, director of Prime College of Architecture in Nagpur. Apart from this, uh, he's also a doctoral scholar, and he was a visiting professor in SPA Vijayawada and many other schools in the state of Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. Uh, I take immense pleasure in welcoming you, sir. Thank you. Now, uh, over to you, sir. Go ahead. Thank you. A very good evening, one and all. Uh, and uh, warm uh, welcome to all the uh, webinar participants it's nice uh, meeting you all uh, by the end of the almost the end of the lockdown four we are in and uh, the topic is once again a very interesting and uh, a topic which has to be pondered upon or which has to be uh, discussed upon career prospect in architecture so i would like to start this webinar rolling taking the catch word prospect if you want to ideate if you want to think about on prospect first we should think about introspect which has to start from inside now first should start inside in our heart and mind what is it introspect is all about what is that i am going to do what is that i want to do as an architect so once that is clear or once that is sparked the prospect will definitely happen in a big way so with uh, this word of introspect to prospect into out or into Uh, a greater feeling of making it possible in the field as an architect not only creating buildings not only designing buildings also how we can make people to celebrate their life through architecture so the responsibility given to us or the one what we are heading for is something much more than any intervention on design build space and all that it's more to celebrate the life of that particular person or the, the person who is going to dwell in there so with, the, with this uh, starting note i uh, once again welcome you all for this interesting uh, topic and uh, how do we look at the various aspects of this particular field architecture as a career how the introspect can become a prospect what are its various manifestations uh, architect a uh, practicing architect an academician as a landscape architect as a in my past uh, 25 years of experience my understanding as i told you the introspect what i made 
when i was doing my 10th standard made me to go for architecture then from there onwards it took me to the next level of pondering upon or searching for the nuances of landscape architecture then how architecture and landscape architecture are inseparable and how they can be tied together as an architect as a landscape architect that was my uh, uh, introspect which made me to do a lot of projects in in pondicherry in auroville doing projects all over the uh, country and also some projects outside the country of sri lanka bangladesh where we could get into some smaller projects in that particular context from all over so with this uh, audience being aspiring for architecture and also their parents having the thought process how best they want to know or what they will be having a lot of curiosity because any profession as i told you introspect it starts from inside what i am going to do or what is what will be my uh, role in the field when i pass out what i will be doing so that can be looked into 21 different ways with my practical understanding with my academic understanding with my research understanding recently for the past 6 years i would like to connect thread all this together from my 10th to the 12th from the 12th to my br from my br to masters once again with a gap not immediately so from mr what is the b and then now recently my research which started just 6 years before comes again in landscape architecture how that career can be looked upon how that career can be made into a prospect the introspect which can be made into a prospect which i like to elaborate in detail and also so there are 21 ways of doing things as an architect and first of all as i told you this profession life celebration so life celebration means it is in total that is what i would like to mean or i would like to convey in totality or in in totality how best we can contribute or how best we can contribute in our career in this 21 ways so the first segment i would like to talk, talk about or touch upon as a profession of architecture how it can be looked into how fascinating it can be how challenging it can be how the challenges can be made into more of a prospect or more of a opportunity how you can think of putting yourself in the the portal of technologies especially now today everything is towards technology driven how the new technology can improve your life or improve your career your profession as an architect and ultimately how this can enhance your creativity of being an architect to the community to the masses is very important next how with this understanding or how making this possible fascination and inspiration how best you can develop your career to the next level of architecture technologies so how is related to architecture once again it can be a set design it can be 3d visualization it can be simulation of software energy efficiency in building technology uh, uh software bim models autocad models because today as an architect it's a must to learn at least two softwares and their programming language too which is very important and my uh, submission to all of you uh, being aspirants 
in this particular wonderful profession of making life to celebrate i request everyone to touch upon some kind of a programming language parallelly with your other activities of curriculum and your notion towards becoming an architect and especially now people are talking about lot on ai that is artificial intelligence machine learning data science and if you go into the depth of it more than we read our architectural books like pattern language by christopher alexander the software engineers are thorough with it because to understand artificial intelligence learning about the pattern language is very important so more than architects the software engineers are becoming more and more thorough with learning about softwares learning about our books parallelly so that they can influence the software from our reading from our literature from our uh, uh, documentation what has been done by architects because our profession is much more older than theirs so these are the some of the borrowings which i would like to when they can borrow from us why not we borrow from them why don't we contribute and we can contribute in a big manner to the enhancement or to the betterment of our own profession and also our own fraternity that's my only uh, uh, request and uh, the i can call it as x factor which you can think about on the software side next you can even think about aspects like spatial design interior planning so interior design and interior planning which you call as a spatial design or interior design also angel or another avenue in the profession as an architect as a designer of spaces once again how best you can make use of those interiors comfortable to the required or the needed and how best the fitments can be how best the fixtures can be how best the furnitures can be and how best the lighting can be so once again it opens up an avenue for you to ponder into lighting design lighting design in depth color schemes working on in the color the chrome and light and chrome how they play an important role in interior design can be also be explored similarly i would like to throw upon one more intervention which is once again possible through product design and product design is one aspect of uh design vocabulary which can be explored which we call as interstellar design then it can be even through a methods which are once again uh, related to textile crafts graphics so so many things can be tried together in total as an industrial design as a product design so there are n number of ways to i would rather look look at this profession as a job creator then more of a job seeker so you can create jobs give them solutions where then of being a job seeker further to the journalism you can add on to so many aspects like photography once again it can be towards our conservation documentation of heritage buildings then uh, preservation of buildings building technology conservation of building materials then you can specialize yourself in specializations like landscape design urban design project management and uh, building engineering the like manager where you can control the project totally in total to make it possible where you can uh, explore yourself of becoming a planner once again planning as is own facets urban planning regional planning transport planning environmental planning 
similarly you can even wander into digital architecture once again another having come a professional of an expert or an expert in total digitization or making things possible before it could be built so we these are the various avenues that you can look into and which are open as i told you broadly other than this there are some special ones which are very current in today today's scenario that is energy audit architects can do a great job in energy audit and eia that is environmental impact assessment where architects can play a major role in under projects which are meant for development their pros and cons their impact on environment and also on well being of the people of the locality or the place of the region similarly another portal which is now where people can try hands on is the traditional wisdom traditional knowledge traditional architecture what we call vernacular architecture once again it can be through sustainable practices which are called as and also through projects which are net zero which are once again energy efficient once again how best they can be towards human wealth and well being so with uh, this outline of the career just yes, i like to once again call upon to give you an insight on what i started your intro fact which will give you a real happiness of celebrating your life and of others as an architect as a a societal doctor of the society so these are my few understandings on this career architecture and its related umbrella which can be explored in totality to make the built environment conducive for living not only conducive for living also for happy living so with this i would like to um make this session multi log or a dialogue so that we can exchange ideas and we can interact thank you over to agi ratika thank you roman sir that was uh, very uh, interesting and it was very insightful into the various possibilities that is uh, available in the prospects prospective career in architecture uh, thank you sir thank you next uh, actually we have by the students of our chennai school so uh, sir rajesh uh, sir can we have the video sir okay until uh, the uh, yeah until the video is shall i uh, i will yeah, uh, shall ask, we, uh, ask uh, yeah. uh, architect paris rajan uh, to maybe i'll ask you one thing so first uh, when you entered into the architecture school after you finished your 12th standard or yeah. and how was the experience yeah. how did you feel what was your uh, expectation yeah. how you grew into an architect can we just have a small yeah. uh, gist of that yeah definitely it will be a very interesting journey i will tell you that it's a very interesting journey uh, which i uh, took and uh, which was a uh, a uh, real journey of life that is what uh, that introspection what i was talking about uh, what i happened in 10th 10th was the stage which i made up my mind or affirmed up my mind that i will do only architecture so before that i had uh, one of my uh, cousin studying in uh, an university in ac tech chemical engineering and he used to tell me about school of architecture and planning an university because next campus no he used to tell me and all that when i was in my 7th 8th and all that so that was one uh, feed what i got uh, from my cousin who was doing his uh, btech chemical 
uh, in easy take that time then uh, slowly um, i had an inclination towards the design and uh, design thinking and uh, what can art even in my uh, school days i used to do a lot of craft works like uh, uh, making bags and all that small small handicrafts i used to make on my own from uh, material what are less in use the way now we do it in our first uh, uh, basic design first year studio well, first semester studio we do uh, less use item less use uh, items are made into useful ones similarly i used to make those uh, uh handbags and all that out of those waste uh, paper and other things paper mesh and all that and, um the um uh 11th and 12th with uh, science group and uh, and uh, when i um, started looking into after 12th uh, when i started looking into um, architecture how to how do we uh, apply and how do we get into because uh, basically uh, being in pondicherry we don't have it apply only at an university or zari uh, sitrichi so no many schools were there in, in tamil nadu not like the way today only two schools one run by the state government another run by the central government and being from the other state pondicherry being a ut others uh, offered us Uh, kind of a quota system for architecture in many schools all over the country so that way to architects in pondicherry most of them would have been or rather everyone would have been from various schools some of them would have been from trivandrum some of them would have passed out from goa some of them would have passed out from hubli some of them would have passed out from sap some of them would have passed out from uh, schools which are uh, in the north like spa delhi jj bombay one seat available every year and if they want to extend they will extend by another one more seat so this was the condition that time i am just talking about in uh, the year uh, 1987 my um, this uh, talk is on the during the year 1987 so one of my friend colleague classmate who got admission in sap he told me i am into sap doing architecture so going to do architecture then i was looking for the next level of entry how do i get then immediately i ran uh, to the education department looking for where is the next position available or where is the next uh, slot available they said uh, it is only available in hubli you can apply there so that is how i started uh, moving towards hubli and i was not knowing the low hubli is in karnataka or andhra or uh, maharashtra i was not knowing all that i started traveling myself so my travel started there which may still i am doing the same travel uh, which uh, gives me the strength in this profession of architecture and also uh, when i went to so hubli when i started uh, uh, my course which started only late september it started that time and it was an annual pattern based on jg school of architecture scheme or the syllabus so immediately that made me to go to jj immediately from hubli to bombay once again it's a overnight journey by bus on the highway and our school was on the it was still is on the highway only same place but the thing is it's been slightly altered only the phase shift has been done because it's a very old college actually so the this college where i studied was started in the year 1945 so they had their engineering started civil engineering started in the year 1945 and uh, mine was the eighth batch i was in the eighth batch of the particular uh, architecture department the time it was department of architecture and also i tell you that time itself they had 11 departments there and the people used to wonder why people from all over the country comes for architecture and especially in that college they used to wonder like that and also i'll tell you that is what made us or going play that introspect what we had to take up the course it any cost wherever it is possible so that continued with the jj college so immediately i used to go to jj college every uh, often i used to go to jj to do all my in jj even though i was with hubli 
my reading was always with jj so any holiday anything immediately i go to jj and similarly whenever there is an off we go to goa because goa is at like pondicherry chennai you can take a bike you can go to goa so that was the the travel what made us to first we or take up the 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 pursuit of or the uh, the drive of the particular architecture what we had or what i had took me to the next level of uh, learning and i will tell you with this vigor when i was doing my first year of architecture because i don't have that uh, i didn't do the semester pattern i did the yearly pattern so every year we have exams and uh, they told me in our college and uh, practicing us uh, the way they very they, they, they want actually syllabus was the framework only it was more of an atelier kind of an education what i entrement in hubli they will come morning be there for one hour and they will leave us and they will go off they will not be hand holding us but they will give us the assignment and will go off we have to keep doing it and being a yearly pattern we had lot of time with us to work and to travel and to ponder upon to do lot of experiments with what we were trying to do sir or one practicing architect who came for design told us uh, if you people get through the design first semester first for not first semester first design or the first year i will expose you to indian institute of architects that is iia so myself and my colleague we stood first second in the design i came first he came second they sponsored us to the annual convention of iia 1988 at calcutta that time the iia president was maro devakta so that also once again made us to travel beyond understanding what is iia what is the profession all about how architects behave themselves that was a major exposure of being in that iia convention and that day once again made us to be a part of iia active member of iia so what we introspect will become prospect that is what once again i would like to uh, stress upon at this juncture so this travel started and, and i will tell you that vigor what that fire in me made me to get the first rank in the first year as a university top it made me to go to next level of understanding architecture beyond not only in the form of books or not only the form of uh, uh, reading and writing other things also how to upscale yourself to the next level because once you get a reward or an award getting that is easy sustaining that is very difficult becoming a leader is easy remaining as a leader forever is very difficult so how do we sustain that award that reward taught me in the first year end so second year went on the same way third year went on the same way and always the travel was a major component in life whether money is there whether money was there or not whether we had any uh, uh, means to meet out all the travel that we never bothered there was always where there is a will there is always a way so we were trying to do our and uh, with that once again i passed out uh, in the final year there uh, in plain colors and back home immediately after the five years of uh, education uh, i think the video is ready i can pause this at the be uh, i can then talk about a mark then video is ready or we will do we we'll just go yeah. to the video then uh, i think with yeah, that interesting questions can... we have to ask you about uh, what happened yeah. in our will and other things yeah yeah, yeah. yes yes definitely uh, i will tell you that uh, later yeah can you start off with the video Over to Rajesh, please.
Rajesh, it got stuck, I think. Shall we uh, continue with the... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I think uh, there's uh, some, something uh, the video got stuck, I think. Uh, I think. Yeah. Uh, Rajat, sir, uh, just to tell us about Auroville. Yeah. Auroville, no. What is Auroville? Yeah. What do they do in Auroville? Yes, sir. And uh, what, is, actually, what uh, is architecture? And, yeah. no, definitely. I could see some good work of your uh, students. And very nice to uh, see those... Uh, 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 the paper cones yeah, or the paper yeah. which has been made into a cone and uh, nice it has come out uh, very well. Yeah, we uh, wish yeah. actually the video played uh, perfectly because uh, no, there's so much of so many uh, beautiful works of them uh, that have yeah, been very nice the semester. Uh, this yes, all it's very nice it has come semester. out. Yeah. Very good, very good. Yeah. So uh, all uh, uh, credit goes to the leader as well as to the team members. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good. we have uh, our uh, <laughs> our HOD yeah, uh, architect yeah. Uh, Vijayan sir. Yes, uh, yes, yes. yes. Very very good team. I could, I could see the teamwork actually. It's a very good teamwork. We actually. want to hear about uh, your uh, Auroville. What we want to first of all know what is Auroville and uh, yes. what do they do there? What is the architecture there? And what what did you do there? Just uh, we want to just know about it. Okay. So uh, Auroville, since I am born and brought up in Pondicherry, and um, Auroville is exactly of my age. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, yes, actually same as my age actually. It was conceived in the mind of mother as a township for all. Uh, no caste, no religion, all are equal. It is for the human race. That is the bottom line of horrible. And uh, as being a Pondicherian, we have a very close association with Arbindo and uh, uh, mother, uh, most of them we go to their ashram and their samadhi and all that. It's a part of life there for all the guys, most of the guys in Pondicherry and especially during that particular period because no much to go, no no, no much to travel, only we'll be there and uh, um, and or otherwise people will be more, they'll be in France or uh, in Singapore or Malaysia. That is the only uh, the thing and not much of the thing and some people migrated themselves to Bombay. Even I have some of my relatives settled in Dadar. Uh, not much in Chennai, actually, but uh, more in Bombay. So this was the spread of the particular uh, territory at that time. I'm just talking about the mood of people and the occupation and where they were trying to settle and uh, trying to... So being a local boy, uh, Auroville, I have seen Auroville from, the, from its inception, from its... Uh, uh, initial stages. Uh, even though it was conceived in the mind of mother in the year 1968-69, it took shape or started formation in the year only 70 or 71. And um, further, uh, when she had a vision of that major hum, uh, banyan tree sitting in that particular location, she had a darshan of the tree at that location. I think in Pondicherry she could um, visualize that particular tree because she is an expert in occult. She is an occult expert. 
that's why she could uh, even dream of a building a post modern building uh, during the pre independence time that the golf the golconda dormitory uh, which was done by an american uh, japanese uh, collaborative team anthony raymond a french uh, french and uh, american collaboration which they could do it as a kind of a pre cast structure today we are talking about prefab she, she she could conceive that that time itself with those architects so these were all some of the inspirations for us in pondicherry and as our of his concern since we as a boy we used to roam around there in the dry landscape or the particular landscape which is no man's land it was a derelict landscape actually very dry that was the condition when i was a boy we used to take bicycles and go for uh, outing and people will say don't go there because on the way a lot of villages and lot of uh, other uh, gro- palm groves and uh, mango groves used to be there where used to get lot of reptiles snakes and all that uh, running here and there so they will not allow us to go there but somehow we will make an excuse and we will escape out to or will to see the barren land no trees nothing you will have only some palm trees nothing else so that was the landscape of oroville but today it's totally different it got transformed so we used to, we, we have seen the upcoming of the major building or the major uh, uh, the mathur mandir what you say the spirit of the place or the the fulcrum of the entire city uh, stage by stage and we saw that got stopped for a long time also for almost 10 to 12 years no activity happened it was a, a defunct project what we call as a non performing asset in the banker's term npa so it was like a npa lying down there without any activity we used to go there play in that mathur mandir is half complete for many come back just to spend time play around there come back the maximum what we can get is some kind of a palm fruit what we call the nungu nungu saapittu thirumi varan vendidha nungu nungu nu poittu nungu saapittu thirumi varan vendidha this is the only thing what we were doing as boys in those days then this is once again a kind of a layer once again a deposit which has happened in our unconscious mind it happens to everyone even to you also uh, when you take up uh, courses like architecture first year it will be different second year it will be different so the dimensions will keep unfolding folding and folding will be always there similarly there was some kind of an unfold happening to me uh, knowingly or unknowingly which made me once i came back after graduation made me to join oroville and this once again the firm which i worked was started by mother blessed by my mother for development of oroville that's called oro future and i'll tell you it's not only uh me there are so many famous architects in chennai you can name them like suresh kubusami dalar rebello they all started their career in the same firm where i worked so they were my senior super seniors they were all part of the sauro future and once again our future was run by roger who is an architect planner for oroval so this is the backup of that office where uh, i could uh, start my career and luckily i could get a position there to work because that time the num- uh, job opportunities were not that high in pondicherry this is the only office which was doing major projects of huge scale like townships in vizag in kudemuk in karnataka selam selam township selam steel township all these major projects they were doing and i was lucky enough to get exposed with the super seniors in major planning projects after my graduation that made me to stick on to them for a long time as an architect and also to come in close touch with professor shahir who was the landscape architect for the city the firm where we collaborated on landscape design where i was the architect he was a landscape architect then i became his student in landscape architecture then continued once again as a licensing junior landscape architect with him on various projects so that is how that life of architecture started for me in oroville with our service and then further continued uh, 
uh, in big scale, big way up to the major hospital projects in Mumbai and so on and so forth. So that is how it unfolded. But um, uh, today, that firm does not exist. The 40 years it lived, its life, did a lot of projects, but uh, now it's been uh, closed and uh, it's no more. And uh, I came up to the level from the junior training architect, I went, I went there, junior architect, landscape architect, project coordinator. Then um, I became the one of the director of the company. And uh, after that, after some years, uh, it uh, was supposed to be, yeah, we have to close it. And there, as I was sharing, it's once again travel. Again, it started. We used to travel, but not in Pondicherry. They were in Vizag. They were in uh, Mumbai. They were in uh, Kudre. So like that, uh, travel was a part of life and part of, and uh, by travel, that's why I told you in that journalism, writing, you can do a lot of writing only when you travel. That can be a travel log. Only an architect can write a proper travel log on architecture, not anybody else. So there is one more career which unfolds to architects if you take up uh, travel and uh, uh, seeing buildings. And uh, similarly, uh, with uh, this kind of uh, an understanding, uh, we went on further to explore on aspects of uh, multidisciplinary activities, once again, multitasking. So in Horrible, any activity you get involved, it's once again multitasking. They will not give you one job. They'll give you 10 different jobs and they will try out all odd things out on you. That makes you a multitasker. So when you do things which are not under your grip, you may look, it may look to you in the beginning, it is beyond my control, it is beyond my uh, capacity. You will start doing things, what you felt impossible as possible. So uh, this is what my understanding, this is my learning from that particular firm. Uh, as a, from a trainee architect to a director. So this entire segment or entire traverse which I took in that particular firm and uh, uh, I have not shifted many firms, so I have not seen any other firm other than that, only one firm I worked. So I don't know about the other firms, how they do, but uh, but I would travel thoroughly in one firm and uh, uh, from the lower rank to the top rank or the higher rank or the top level. So understanding various uh, aspects of design. Not only administration, financial management, uh, which is very important actually. And as architects, we should be very good in financial capacity. We should manage our finance in a smart way. So all this will happen when you traverse. But at the same time, that introspect, what I told you, if that introspect is very strong in you, the prospect is there always to a greater level. Thank you. That was wonderful uh, uh, insight into you know what happened in uh, what happens in Aravil and all what how Aravil started actually we we never we never knew it uh, there was no <laughs> and, uh, those kind of things anyway uh, Radhika you can take over if anybody has got the questions you can ask them to ask. Uh, if any of you have any questions uh, as well you can post it in the chat over here. I think if they want to ask any questions, they can ask here. Uh, uh, anybody? No questions. In fact, uh, some of uh, the audience, you know, or our students, are so there. Maybe they, I think they want to. Uh, to okay. meet you personally and then have a good insight. So, oh, soon, uh, we would, uh, that we can always yes, soon we would request you to visit our college. Uh, uh, sure, 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 sure. That sure. would be, that'd be sure. a great delight. We'd be happy to uh, meet and interact with them one to one. Yeah. Not virtually, physically. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah.
uh, you will not uh, that that aura will not uh, travel virtually but physically when you are there now that aura will travel which will catch up correct correct so, yeah. <laughs> so the definitely it will happen yeah i will be happy to make it thank you yes sir so we we take thank a you, thank you. yeah thank you thank you uh, for the invite thank you Okay. Okay. Close the session. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for Mr. Uh, sir. Thank you. It's uh, very delightful to have this session with you. And, thank uh, you. Looking forward to. So I once again uh, would like to thank uh, the Dean, Professor uh, Lognathan, uh, Professor uh, Vaidhinathan, HOD. and uh, professor radhika for making this uh, really a memorable webinar and uh, giving me the opportunity to talk about uh, the career and also my uh, uh, life and uh, my travel in this profession so uh, thank you once again uh, for the great opportunity given thank you wonderful sir thank you so much thank you okay and the meeting is closed thank you thank you